Hello all, very good morning. So in today's topic, we will discuss another unit that is health assessment. So coming to this topic health assessment, what is health assessment means mainly we are checking the health of the people. So we are assessing them whether, whether they are healthy or whether they are in any kind of sickness or illness. So we will discuss what are all the elements that were involved in the health assessment here. So coming to the introductory part of the health assessment. So when you will say a person is healthy means when he is not having any kind of illness and he is mentally and spiritually and socially stable then we will say he is a healthy person. So if you see the ancient Indians, so they said that they attributed to health that absence of any kind of illness and a well balanced body and mind implies a good health in an individual. So they said a person healthy when he is not having any kind of illness and when his body and mind are well balanced. So here health, it is mainly providing us in health it is mainly providing us the strength of physical action and the strength of endurance and mental points to meet the demands of life so whatever the demands of life are there whether it could be a physical uh, physical aspect either it could be a mental aspect or either it could be a uh, social aspect so when a person is healthy he he can tackle everything in a proper manner so that's what the introduction is about so coming to the WHO definition, so if you see here, according to the WHO, health is an important component of total health. So it includes different parts of the body such as skin, hair, eyes, teeth. So here, according to the WHO, it is saying that health, it is an important aspect of the total health. So when, when we are saying a person is healthy means when he is physically, mentally, spiritually, and socially healthy so when he is mentally spiritually physically and socially healthy we are saying here so here skin hair eyes teeth all these aspects are included into the physical aspect so if a person is physically unhealthy then he is considered to be unhealthy in the total aspect of the health so here as a community health nurse you should know you should know the structure and functions of the different parts of the body and also you should know the characteristics of a healthy individual. So whenever you know the characteristics of a healthy individual, so then only you can you can assess the person in the community in a proper manner. So without knowing what are the characteristics of a healthy individual, what are all the functions of different parts of a body, if you go and assess the person, you cannot assess them in a 100% manner. So you cannot assess them in a good manner. So if you want to achieve those assessments, mean first of all you should know what is a characteristics of a healthy person what is the normal functioning of a different parts of the body then only you can go you can assist and you can get the data from the community so what are all the characteristics of a healthy individual if you see here the characteristics of a healthy person can be discussed in the following headings so what it is saying means they what are all the characteristics means physical mental social spiritual and cultural so all these are some of the characteristics of an healthy individual so what are all the physical characters we'll see so here these account major part of the physical uh, part of an individual health so mostly whenever you are doing a physical assessment we are doing from head to toe so you will study this in nursing fundamentals also so head to toe assessment so some physical characteristics of the uh, healthy individual are discussed below if you see firstly we'll see what is the physical appearance so every individual every individual is having different types of look so he is having healthy appearance weight and height according to the normal standard intelligence pleasantness sincerity smiling face friendly in nature properly dressed and good poster and follow the orders of elders and hard working so he should be aware of his own specific character who and he should enjoy their own own character and their mindness and therefore he, they able to work together and they will do achieve their common goals so, so what is this physical appearance so if you are spiritually healthy if you are mentally healthy and if you are physically healthy if you are socially healthy your appearance will be in a different manner 
so the way you dress the way you speak the way you see the things the way you respect the others the way you tackle the situations the way you keep your body posture the way you talk to the elders the way you enjoy your character so all these things are coming under this physical appearance so for example if you are having any physical defect with your arm or with your face or with your legs so automatically you are not said to be a healthy person because because of the defect you cannot you cannot project yourself in a proper manner to the others you cannot express your feelings in a proper manner to the others so in that way the physical uh, appearance when it is defected automatically the health of the person is also getting defected here so speech so whenever you are speaking it should be clear and it should be appropriate and uh, you have to use correct selection of words while you are using while you are speaking so if you are speaking regarding one topic suddenly if you come there and if you start speaking regarding another topic which is not at all related to the content which we are discussing then the person is not said to be a healthy person because his mind is thinking in a different manner when we are doing a normal manner normal thing here so you have to check the speech and you have to check the command on sentences and wordings so these are some of the characteristics so nextly head and neck so head symmetrically rounded with full range of motion so whenever a person is healthy his, his head should be symmetrical and it should be rounded like full rotatory motion means full range of motion should be established there so coming to the hair when a person is healthy he will maintain his personality so he will clean his hair he will he will keep his hair shining he will keep his hair oiled and he will keep that without any kind of dandruff so all these things has to be included in the physical appearance of a person when it is when he is considered to be a healthy individual you have to check the scalp and skull so here scalp should be smooth firm symmetrical and no inflammation and cystine lesions or tenderness should be present over the scalp and face should be shining and no abnormal marks are movement should be present there and neck it should be symmetrical smooth and it should have control movement without any scar or lesion and trachea in the middle and lymph nodes should not be palpable if lymph nodes are palpable there is some kind of inflammation lymphadenopathy is there and the person is said to be unhealthy person so these are all some of the physical aspects that you should check during your during your physical assessment so you have to if you go if you are checking the scalp and scale you have to check whether it is smooth firm symmetrical if, whether there is any kind of inflammation or cysts are present or lesions are present in such a way you have to check when you when you are checking the eyes the eye should be symmetrical and in, they should be in alignment with the top ears they should be alignment with the top ears and eyebrows should be equally distributed and lashes should be evenly placed and blinking should be symmetrical and involuntary blinking should be present there. no person should can should do the blinking voluntarily and lacrimal glands without any kind of tenderness and if you see the conjunctiva it should be clear and vision should be normal that is six by six then only without any spectacles then only the person is said to be healthy so according to this even the persons who are wearing spectacles like me and the persons who are wearing like spectacles like you also they are considered as unhealthy persons because we are having some kind of physical defect so without specs i cannot see the I, I cannot see the object properly so i am not considered here as an healthy person so in the same way when it is applicable when a person has to be said healthy person his vision should be normal and it, it should be like without any kind of spectacles coming to the ears so if you see the ears the ear should be normal in size and they should be symmetrical in nature so there should not be any kind of lump or deformity or discharge and tympanic membrane should be shiny and hearing is normal then only the person is said to be healthy so when you check the when you are checking the nose the nose should be like same color to the face and there should be no lesion or any kind of nodule or discharge or crushing of the nose and no septum should be uh, midline and symmetrical without any kind of deviation or without any kind of bleeding and all for all factory functions should be normal so means the smell function should be normal means the correct identification of scent and aroma coming to the lips here you have to check whether the lips are symmetrical or not whether the lips are smooth moist and whether there is any kind of nodule or lesion present or not we have to check everything nextly we'll see the buccal mucosa so the buccal mucosa it should be pink and moist without any kind of discoloration or any kind of ulcer and the gums they should be pink and moist so without any kind of erythema what is this gums means 
the teeth which they in the, the teeth which where they are present so these gums they should present without kind, any kind of erythema and there should be no cyanosis and there should be no kind of bleeding or inflammation so then only the gums are said to be a healthy gums so the teeth the teeth should be like 28 to 32 and they should be shiny white and they should be in good condition without any kinds of dental caries and tongue and palate should, should be like mid, tongue should be middle and they should be symmetrical they should be moist pink and with smooth movement without nodule and both palate in normal condition so these are some of the things coming to the taste pattern here so there should the taste should be successfully identified and uh, uh, whatever the taste you are showing the person should be able to identify the taste with the tongue coming to the chest here the chest should be symmetrical even and relaxed and sternum with uh, sternum and ribs without any deformity the, you should check whether the sternum is having any kinds of deformity or not and we should check the respiratory pattern so the re normal respiratory rate is like 20, 16 to 24 in some books it was like 16 to 20 so you have to check whether the respiration is correct or not and normal labor without any kind of wheeze or ronchi so whenever you are auscultating the lung sounds there should not be any kind of wheeze or there should not be any kind of ronchi so if it is present you can consider the, the person as an healthy person nextly we'll check the heart so here if you check the apical pulse so it should be like 72 76 beats per minute in regular sounds and there should not be any kind of extra heartbeats or pulsation and coming to the breast here the breast should be like symmetrical tender and there should be no lump or any kind of lesion or discharge and lymph node should be palpable coming to the abdomen abdomen should be round soft symmetrical and bowel sound should be audible and normal and without any kind of tenderness and abdomen girth below the uh, abdominal girth should be below the chest circumference coming to the upper extremities so these both arm they should be symmetrical and all types of motion should be present and they, there should not be any kind of tension or body deformities and muscles reflection should be normal nextly lower extremities here legs are legs should be symmetrical and no lesion or bony deformities must be there and they should be without any kind of lashes or lesions or edema or inflammation with full range of motion means whenever you are walking your legs should be in symmetrical manner they should be no any kind of deformities so review of the systems here so respiratory system cardiovascular system gastrointestinal system musculoskeletal system endocrine system neurological system including all the ecological system they should be free from any kind of deviation or dysfunction or problem then only a person is said to be healthy nextly we'll check the mental status whether he is well oriented or not whether he is aware of the time and place or not whether the responses are prompt or not whether he is able to maintain the good eye contact or not whether he is fully conscious whether his judgment capacity is uh, ability to work efficiency without enthusiasm or not whether he is able to judge the person properly or not whether he is cheerful or not whether he is having self-confidence or whether he is not having any kind of self-control whether he is having any kind of anxiety or whether he is having good sleep or not all these things should be checked in the mental status so you have to check all these things you have to check, check them you have to tick mark there so based on that you are assessing the health of an individual so nextly we will check the what are all the social characteristics so what are the social characteristics here so individual he is a living organism with various systems which coordinate to maintain his or her living functions so whenever he is maintaining proper coordination then only he will he will live in a proper manner so if you see a person when a person is a healthy individual he is having good relationship with the peer group he is, he is having good relationship with the persons in the society and he will maintain a normal harmony with the members of the society or any community so he will be having positive and social interactions so he will follow the social change for example if there is any change in the society that need to be followed or that need to be addressed he will follow it without any kind of objections so when he understand the proper concept he will follow the socialization process and he will have the social control he should be active socially for overall well-being of the society but if one system is failing so then they cannot survive in another area so these are some of the social characteristics nextly we'll see what are the spiritual and cultural characteristics when a person has said to be healthy person so here 
if you see you are seeing the holistic approach here you are seeing physical approach we are seeing the mental approach we are showing the social approach and we are seeing the spiritual and cultural characteristics so we have seen the physical approach in physical approach we have done the head to toe assessment and we have so we have seen the social approach in social approach we have seen whether he is able to talk to the other persons whether he is maintained to maintaining proper relationships or not with the peer groups and we have seen in the a mental aspect whether his thinking capacity is up to the mark or not whether he is having ability to whether he is able to cope up or not whether he is having the self confidence or not whether he is having his self control or not whether either he is too angry or either he is too dumb you have to check all the characteristics there so coming to the last thing here spiritual and cultural characteristics so the religion that she is believing he should respect he should not focus only one religion he should be able to respect the other religions and he should respect the other beliefs also so because here the religion and the way of worshiping god is an individual process here so every individual is having different types of concept when it is coming to the spiritual aspect so he should be able to respect the other spiritual uh, other other religion aspects also he should not he should believe in his own religion and he should be able to respect the other religion and other beliefs then only a person is said to be a healthy person and he should follow all the ethics and principles that he have committed to some uh, higher being or god so whenever we we say that we will follow certain kind of things it is our responsibility as a healthy individual to follow those words which were given to the god or to the higher individual and he should also able to respect the cultural values of and values of self society and he should uh, uh, you should give respect to the other cultural norms and values so whenever he is seeing the other persons so he should treat them in a appropriate manner he should talk to them in an appropriate manner and he should not criticize them or he should not hate them just because he is uh, he is believing in another god so these are all the some of the aspects so spiritual and cultural aspects they play a major role in the health here so these are some of the characteristics and this is regarding the health uh, health assessment introduction so in next class we will see how we will assess the child how we will assess the adult and uh, what are all the aspects that were involved in the health assessments thank you so much thanks for watching if you like the content please like share and subscribe the channel and if you have any queries you can drop them in the comment box thank you